Thank you to the chair, uh, esteemed uh, invitees on the dais, uh, other guests, and uh, the faculty from the, the college, and uh, most importantly, dear students and participants, a very good morning to all. Science is the most, uh, uh, at least to many, is the most exciting part of the learning process. You know, we go to school, we go to colleges, and uh, you know, for the for the learning and science, I feel. I mean, of course, I come from a science background, so I root for that. But I think for most, I think science is the most exciting part. And uh, we are at a juncture in the human history where the things are changing so rapidly. The science is progressing so rapidly. So what is exciting today, tomorrow when you wake up, there's a new tech. And what you saw today is a retro. So it's moving at that pace. And it's really fascinating what we can achieve uh, with science today. Um, a lot of talk recently about chat GPT, about artificial intelligence, about machine learning. It's really fascinating what it's doing to our way of working. I'll just give a small example from my office. Uh, in office, in every office we have the dealing assistants who draft your letters and uh, other things. So this, you know, uh, this chat GPT, I recently, you know, because we also have to keep ourselves updated. So I did a course in chat GPT and then I trained my, all my dealing assistant in direct trade. And, you know, right from the other day, the kind of drafts they are putting up, like from two line drafts to two page drafts, you know, using the technology. So it was really fascinating how these tools can really empower us. There's a lot of talk about chat GPT taking all of our jobs. Every technology does that, but it creates jobs as well. So it's, it's just a matter of adopting to it. We have to, you know, uh, take that change and learn the new things which are coming and science is, is the way uh, you know to solve many things. In education the NEP talks about STEM a lot which is the science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So the major focus being in STEM they are saying you have to now start STEM labs, AI labs, robotic labs, vocational education right from class 6 so a lot of things are coming uh, under NEP and I'm, I'm glad that many schools have already adopted and under various programs we are seeing a lot of vocational educations right from the starting from the, uh, you know, uh, our uh, class six. It's, it's amazing. I mean, when I was a student, uh, you know, we had this uh, period SUPW. I don't know, many of you will not even know. It's, it's again, it has become a retro. It was called super productive, useful SUPW, super useful productive work. So that was something like this. Uh, we used to do some innovative projects and all that, but now it has been, you know, full-fledged vocational education classes. So it's really fascinating uh, what school education, how it is imbibing the science and all these uh, things uh, into the curriculum. So another uh, thing I want to share is that we talk about fundamental duties. We read about fundamental, you know, uh, uh, rights and fundamental duties. So I don't know how many of you know that that under Article 51A, which enshrines the fundamental duties, if you go to the number eight, it says to develop scientific temper. It is one of the fundamental duties enshrined in the Constitution of India. So how visionary were the uh, you know the uh, drafters of the Constitution? Uh, it's it's a very important point and which all teachers all those educationists and, and every one of us should know how important the, you know, developing this and spreading this scientific temper is. Science gives us a great opportunity to make a difference. There are many problems. Uh, the previous speaker presented, uh, shared many, you know, uh, very uh, important issues on environment and what we are doing. We ourselves are experiencing so much of global warming, climate change, erratic rainfall, I mean, you know, weather cannot be predicted, climate is shifting like anything. So there are many challenges and science provides us the opportunity to create some answers. Uh, now we are talking so much about solar energy, renewable energy, wind energy, tidal energy, there are so many different aspects coming up. Plastic is a menace, so there are entrepreneurs and innovators coming up with solutions. You have to use this plastic. 
they are creating items tiles made of plastic footwear made of plastic you know where plastic is being used in the road making te technology so there is a answer and solution to everything and i am i'm sure some of you will go on and uh, you know become some innovators and solve some of these problems uh, which our state is facing today so remember that science is an opportunity uh, to solve these problems for our state uh, i'm very happy that this uh, science uh, congress today i mean this this thing is being done every year um, here by the scste i just want to share that along with this there are many other things happening in the domain of science from education department every year we have district exhibitions of you know uh, science projects then we have a state level exhibition then also there is a state science seminar and the national science seminar and i am happy to share that recently uh, one girl from little plus school she represented meghalaya in new delhi and she uh, got the top she was among the top 10 there uh, you know in the national level so that's a great achievement uh, we also have uh, i don't know how many of you know we have a science center in shillong which is in nehu uh, which is also a part of the a wing of the uh, uh, you know uh, the department of science uh, which is very good so i even i was not aware of it and i'm sure many schools and students are not aware so recently Uh, the member secretary and everyone uh, came and we sat together and we discussed that how department of education and the st sc ste have to collaborate to ensure maximum utilization of all these resources so we have done that and we have uh, framed a strategy of how you how we will you know uh, be joining hands i am happy today uh, the uh, opening remarks uh, it was shared that there will be a presentation today Uh, by one uh, children with uh, uh, with CWSN uh, using sign sign language. So I think that's fascinating. I'm really happy to hear. And if that can happen first, so maybe I can also uh, you know uh, see that. So I really congratulate the student, and I'm really you know we are all proud of you uh, that you have come thus this far. Uh, also congratulation to the students from rural areas who have utilized the facility which they provide for crash tuitions and they have featured in the top 20 list so that's a remarkable feat for students coming in from rural areas so all these examples are you know are showing that nothing is impossible if you have the uh, will then anything is possible and you use there are many resources there are many uh the one of the problem is this information gap you know there are many such programs happening there are many scholarships which are there uh, which students are not aware uh national scholarship portal has all this information uh, so this we will try to from the education department we are trying to make sure that all students know the opportunity what exists so this is this is something which we are working on so i'm really happy that that happens one last point i want to mention is that maths and science are uh, the weak spots unfortunately in our state uh, this we have learned from the national achievement survey uh, the state level achievement survey and the various other assessments which keep on happening these and, and i have just you know shared how important science is how important maths is so i think this is something which we want to work on and we we, we are taking various steps from the uh, department side so once again congratulations to all the participants always remember that participation is more important than of course i mean you should try to win and do your best and i wish you the best for that but participation is is the key to you know success because when you participate you are trying your best you are researching you are you are learning so much and when you come here it's not just your presentation you are seeing you know 60 other presentations also so you'll be lot, you'll be learning a lot and that will of course help you in the long run so i hope you it, uh, other than your own presentation please sit and you know learn from all other presentations and uh, it will enrich you for the days to come so thank you uh, one and all to bless you good mithila